we we have this tendency to download the entirety of the philosophy onto a person in one sitting and that's it's so overwhelming and it, it leaves them with more questions than answers rather the, our process of of preaching to ourselves is shravanam kirtanam and in also reaching out to others it should be shravanam first we should sit and hear from that person understanding they already have some relationship with krishna again it's not a matter of belief we we can be both simultaneously the most liberal and conservative people because conservatively we axiomatically accept everyone has a relationship with krishna and we liberally recognize everyone means everyone so no matter what condition of life someone is in they have some connection to krishna already it's my duty as a as a preacher to find out where that connection is where is that little seed sprouting and water that take care of that tend to it not just dump a whole pile of you know it might be the most fertile soil it might be very good compost but if i dump a giant pile of it on top of that little creeper then i'm killing it so to hear first and then do some kirtanam then speak to the particular situation concern interest they already have related to krishna that's powerful sharing of krishna consciousness rather than just a kind of objective um self righteous preaching speech you know dogmatic didactic kind of approach that many people take yeah that's beautiful so they all i used to talk about the point that to find out what is their current interest and see what is the like this is the circle of their current interest this is the circle of bhakti and mm. find where the two intersect yes like a venn diagram yeah, yeah totally diagram. But i think the way you are putting it is more devotionally apt also and it's not just a matter of their interest it is mm. they already have a relationship with krishna mm. and in some ways we could say that whatever is our deepest experience is our experience of krishna even Haribo. if we don't know it is some Haribo. sorry i i love that statement prabhu i'm okay. just i'm saying hari bol to that i'm affirming it yeah. so i'm, I'm going to loves music the music may not have anything explicitly devotional about it but mm. what is it about the music that is attracting them it yes. is a spark of krishna manifesting through that music to them haribo the <laughs> <laughs> person in this car needs to hear this statement <laughs> here i i this i call that the sankirtan principle right mm-hmm. because what is what is sankirtan actually sankirtan is not spouting off things you heard prabhupad say in bhagavatam verses and berating people with bhagavad gita just for the name of saying that you did that so that when they walk away you can call them demons and feel justified sankirtan means that you're sharing your experience of krishna with that person your actual relationship with krishna you're inviting them into that same room with krishna to be with him in that same way that's real sankirtan so to what you're saying social justice people musicians artists businessmen they're all having some experience of krishna they're convicted in whatever they believe to be the most important thing to speak to and in that sharing and speaking they're actually talking about krishna they're doing sankirtan so if we honor their sankirtan they will honor our sankirtan but if we dismiss them if we say that you're in maya you're an illusion every your whole life has been a useless waste of time then what's the impetus for them to listen to what we have to say about krishna if we're not willing to listen to what they have to say about krishna so prabhupad says in the chapter 12 text 11 purport uh that that famous section if you can't do this for me krishna says then do that for me if you can't do that then this that stepwise description prabhupad says in that respect social service community service national service sacrifice for one's country etc may be accepted so that some day one may come to the stage of pure devotional service to the supreme lord if one decides to sacrifice for the supreme cause even if they do not know that the supreme cause is krishna they will gradually come to understand that krishna is the supreme cause by the sacrificial method 